What's the tempo? Okay. <coughs> One, two, three. <laughs> It's been a hot minute since India has witnessed an all-female group and if you ask me, it's been a long time coming. My name is Arivan Trivedi and we're joined today uh, at the Rolling Stone India studio with none other than India's first all-girl pop group in 22 years. A project that is brought to you by Sony Music and Mikey McCleary. It's a pleasure to introduce Re, Sim, Zoe and Suchi. The four personalities that make Wish. Uh, first of all, thank you guys for being here. Like, it's a pleasure to have you guys here. How are you guys doing? Great. Thank you so much for having us. Thank Absolutely. You. So, I mean, right off the bat, I need to know, and I think everyone wants to know, who is Wish? If you guys could maybe introduce yourselves, tell us a little bit about this project. Okay, so I'm Ri. I'm Zo. I'm Sochi. And I'm Sim. And, and we, we are Wish. Wish. <laughs> I love that. I think that was obvious, but yeah. uh, yeah. we had to do that. It's just part of our introduction. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So, I mean, I want to know what does WISH stand for and what does it mean to you guys specifically? So, WISH stands for World Inca Stage. Hai. Mm -hmm. As a group, we sort of aim to be on an international level and perform on like big stages. That's the goal. And, you know, everything like the look, the sound, everything I think about us is truly international. And... It's also a play on the word wish in Hindi, which means poison. So we can be a wish come true, but if you mess with us, we can be poisonous. I love that little best of both worlds, my yeah. side yeah. is yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It's kind of like, why limit yourself? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of what we're going for. Lovely. I, I want to know, uh, can you share some insights on your individual music backgrounds? I know uh, you guys are talented musicians in your own rights. And what was the process like coming together uh, to form this, uh, this group? So Mikey was the one who brought us all together, of course. It started out in a manufactured way where he had to like hunt for all of us on the internet. <laughs> yeah. And I think I was the first person that he reached out to. Okay. And it was just so exciting. Um, I had a duo with my sister before that called mm -hmm. Symmetry. And we've been like writing and releasing songs and also training and singing and dance for a really long time. Yeah. And we really didn't have a platform like this mm -hmm. um, to do, you know, uh, this on a larger scale. And we're so excited that he found me and then Sim and Suchi and then so. So you guys knew each other obviously because you're sisters, but yeah, how did yeah. the four of you all come together? So I yeah. actually like know the sisters from before as well because uh -huh. we used to like collaborate on Instagram and just like know of each other in the scene. And Zoe and I were in a band Pop together band. which uh, never took off. <laughs> Tell me <laughs> about this band. <laughs> what was the name of the band? We didn't I have a name. name. It was a cover band. It was yeah. A, yeah, like a live, okay. a live, yeah. for, live performance. for like corporate space. Got it, got it. Yeah. What kind of covers would you guys do? It would be like... Bollywood, fun, like but English, but also, also English pop, a mix yeah. of yeah. both, with other singers and a big band, and but now we're here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I love that. Actually, even I knew Ria and Sim uh -huh. when we were like younger. Like I mean, we were in like the same summer club. We used to oh, play same. table tennis together yeah. and run who, around. Who would win like, a I, no, so I was the <laughs> volunteer. I was the volunteer, yeah, and she yeah. was like the kid who had come for the summer yeah. club. <laughs> so I knew her as like a little baby. Yeah. <laughs> She's still the baby I of the group that. though. Yeah. 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 I'm the youngest. Okay, so. lovely. So, yeah. uh, so somehow your worlds have been connected. Just yeah. yeah. Awesome. But we definitely got so much closer. Like Dearing. I feel like yeah. we're all sisters and yeah. You know, we'll always be there to back each other up. Oh, and adorable. we all have sisters as well, yeah. so we know how to deal okay. with each other. So it's like, not new to the game Yeah, anymore. Older sister, older sister, younger sister, younger sister. Yeah, And we've been that. working towards the group since two and a half years uh -huh. now. So all of us now know each other so yeah. well because we, we meet up for rehearsals or recording our songs yeah. and writing together. So. And dancing. And dancing yeah. Yeah. I love that. So uh, I've been told that your debut single, Laziz, will be dropping soon. Can you tell us a bit about this song? What was the process like making it and uh, how did it come to be? So Laziz was one of the first songs that we worked on. Um, 
I I think I was on my way to the studio one day and I was listening to this really sexy beat that Mikey and his team had worked on and I was like really feeling myself and I was like this song should have lyrics that really reflect that and I was probably really hungry at the time <laughs> okay. because I generally am really hungry when I'm going <laughs> to studios I don't know why um so then I thought of um main aisi cheez hu bilkul lazeez hu and you know the hook and then that's when we started working on the rest of the song yeah the yeah. song essentially is like women get labeled all the time mm -hmm. everyone gets labeled all the time not just girls and stuff like that so it's kind of like taking that power back a little and saying we will label ourselves whatever yeah. we want to so we'll call ourselves sexy all mm -hmm. the good things yeah and mm -hmm. riya has this one line she says all the time which <laughs> is like I'm a snack, but we are the whole damn meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely. So you're like subverting the idea of what lazies as a word could look like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. awesome. You're like so projecting you... that deliciousness, and, you know, everything that's yeah. savory to ourselves, like, to yeah. ourselves. Yeah. 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 onto the screen. So Self empowerment. Mm. I love that. What was the process like working together, like the four of you? Like, what did each of you contribute to making a song like this? Aside from obviously the dancing, the vocals, etc. How is the creative process like? So uh, when we sit and we write, we're all brainstorming. Any idea, any tune, one's coming up with lyrics, another's coming up with a melody, and we like fuse that together. And it's actually a super fun process. I enjoy it. We all enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it's so really and collaborative. And, yeah. and the best part is there was this one song that we wrote, and it was done in a day. Like it was even recorded the same day, and the whole song was like done. And it was our first yeah. time actually sitting all of us together in yeah. the studio. Yeah. And yeah. for some reason, usually you'd think it would be hard because mm. there are so many cooks. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And it just kind of flowed. Like everyone was giving ideas, what was working, what was not working. I think yeah. everyone has a very strong hold on. Yeah. writing yeah. songwriting melody making. We also have similar music influences, mm -hmm. so it all just like flowed in yeah. together. Mm -hmm. I I've noticed you guys also have very distinct but also sort of similar personalities and if you're unique <laughs> and you know cohesive at the same yeah. time yeah. how does that work in the creative process like do you do you guys ever face any clashes as far as one person may want something in a creative direction the other one might want something else how do you guys navigate through that so far the only clashes are between sim and me cuz we're stuck <laughs> <laughs> i see <laughs> so but like also it helps it well in numbers mm -hmm. cuz like if there's ever a difference of opinion is kind of like majority mm -hmm. yeah. yeah or like you ask like what everyone prefers it's never been like a fair thing i think we all know how to navigate yeah. around each other yeah. give yeah. and take a little bit absolutely yeah. uh, i want to i want to discuss about the fact that you because you're an all female pop group right mm -hmm. Obviously uh in the music industry there are numerous challenges that you as women have to face have you guys faced any and how do you guys navigate through that well we're still to enter the real world mm -hmm. with our music and all of that mm -hmm. so sometimes when our individual videos go viral we can see all the comments mm -hmm. yeah. and we are just yeah. gearing up to all the hate as well yeah. Yeah. but we love what we do and the comments will just keep coming it will benefit us only yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah i think it's important for us to be thick skin when it comes mm. to this yeah. like cuz people will tend to say anything on the internet mm. and like personally cuz now we have an like we just yet to be launched yeah. and stuff but um i think sometimes you have to look at the positives also cuz there will be like if there are 10 good comments there'll be that one comment that's bad so you just have to ignore it and yeah but often times i mean with a lot of musicians that even we speak to it's very difficult to ignore those like yeah. some people yeah. think that oh if i post something negative they'll never see it you know mm. they'll never but at the back of your head you know you're still like keeping an eye on all of these comments mm. do you feel like that will be a challenge in the future as as far as with more popularity do you expect more of those kind of conversations it's the price you have to pay mm. for doing this mm. but i think what helps is the fact that we also have each other so yeah. it's not oh, yeah. like you're alone in this you know what yeah. i mean yeah. but also i feel like we've kind of prepared ourselves you know mm -hmm. for anything to come bad publicity is also good publicity <laughs> in yeah. a sense yeah. and if anything happens we're all there for each other yeah. i love that that's if adorable good in this together yeah <laughs> we're <Absolutely>. happy yeah. <laughs> so i want to know as artists individually obviously it's it's very difficult especially in a in a genre like pop uh to you it, it's very easy to tend to evolve with the trends uh to always stick to things that are popular how do you guys uh you know sort of 
intellectually sort of realize that? Like, do you, is it easy to just jump on these trends, or do you try to stick to what your artistry is at the core of your group? Yeah, I think when we are with ourselves, we are always creating what new can we do? Mm -hmm. What can be different? What is us? Like, we are more into the thinking process of what we are, mm -hmm. more than what the trend is. We love trends uh, for fun, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We yeah. love to jump on trends, yeah. but we could be the trendsetter. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to sort of circle back to uh, this idea of representation in music. Obviously, it's super important, and your target audience is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, uh, young girls in India. Uh, how do you guys uh, work around that? Do you think there's a responsibility on your shoulders to sort of depict yourselves or have certain music that would feel appropriate to, to young women in, in, the, in the country right now? It is a responsibility mm. for sure, but I think us as an act, we're all about empowerment and you know telling these mm. young girls that you can do anything you want to. Like Zul keeps saying, you don't have to put yourself in a box. Mm. Yeah, like yeah. who cares? Like just just do what you want to do, just embrace yourself. We want to get that vibe out there for all the young girls. I think that's yeah. what WISH stands for also, like you can do anything you wish to do <laughs> and achieve your dreams and just because you have the ability to do so and yeah. because you're talented enough. So yeah, yeah we just want to inspire young girls and boys to just go out there and oh, go for it. Go for it. Yeah, I love that. So tell me a little bit about your like your musical influences. I know you mentioned that uh, that you guys have similar musical influences and icons. I is there a, a group or an all female pop group that you guys were like, oh, that's who I want to sort of mirror my creative process around? We love Ooh, so Little Mix. Little yeah, mix we love group. Yeah, uh, Destiny's Child, of yeah, course. Little Mix, Destiny's Child. Even Spice Girls. Spice Girls. Yeah. 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 We, yeah it's it, this I so see iconic. We used to listen to Pussycat Dolls, but I think <laughs> why is it a secret? Their genre is a little bit different than <laughs> 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 That's good. And so, do you? Why do you think India right now needs an, an all-female pop group? Because they have they are too many fans of other groups internationally. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on, be fans of. Yeah. I love that. I love like, that. Yeah, hasn't done it in a yeah. very it's very long a, twenty yeah. years. Yeah. 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 And. I think what we're bringing is super fresh, at least to India. It's yeah. like pop on the pop scale, mm -hmm. but it also has Hindi and English. It's a nice mix of everything, but with that modern, unique sound, which yeah. India hasn't done yet. Yeah. Also, it's a great time to like tip the gender imbalance scales, mm. right? Mm. Mm. I love that. So, uh, what do you think fans can expect from Wish in terms of your upcoming projects or performances? And how do you plan to engage with your audience both off and off stage? On and off stage, my bad. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think we sing really like well, but when we dance, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's going to be like, <laughs> literally, we've seen people like, like that. So, I think this is the, the main, you know, the cream of the whole project. Yeah. Like, you know, when you're getting this on stage and the audience is watching us dance, and sing, it's just a celebration, it's a party for yeah. everyone. Yeah. That's what that. we're getting. We're yeah. really waiting to do, to do that and I think we're mm. gonna like plan some public shows after we've dropped a couple uh -huh. of singles. Absolutely. So there's a lot of music planned. Yeah. yeah. We have so many songs planned that we can't wait to do, like perform them live because a lot yeah. of songs are just it's there and we're like, like it's bang like energy. finally like yeah. let's just release them now yeah. all of it. it so I'm assuming you spend half your time obviously in rehearsing your music but also in preparing for your dance and rehearsing all yeah. of that yeah. how's yeah. that like do you guys work with any specific dance tutors choreographers um, is it fun for you guys do you enjoy like yeah, yeah. the entire process so much mm. fun yeah. and yeah the the most fun <laughs> it's actually the most fun and then sometimes we like dilly dally <laughs> even though we're supposed to be working we learn <laughs> of like trends, dance yeah. trends that are really difficult. Yeah. We haven't shot yet, yeah. Yeah. but it's a lot of fun. We do have choreographers with uh, yeah. like who've helped us in mm. songs. But like a lot of, like there are certain chunks in like the upcoming songs that we worked on. We worked on a few music videos. Mm -hmm. There are certain chunks that we have choreographed yeah. ourselves. Oh, wow, okay. yeah. So 
because you know like we have to keep rehearsing we can't have choreographers with us all the time yeah. so there's there's always like ways in which we feel like we can improve and do better yeah, yeah. so we're always like working on that absolutely yeah. um suchi word on the street is that you're a huge sports fan uh, <laughs> oh. that's what i've been told um what i want to know is who are you repping in the premier league season this year and are you upset that it's arsenal mm -hmm. <laughs> Not really, because we are very good right now. Uh -huh. We are in our best form, and like the past two games is just like six nil final. Uh -huh. So it's like you know getting all the rival teams <laughs> in the, at the edge of their seat. Like why is it Arsenal? Yeah. <laughs> But we could be on the top. Like, I love we that. We really can be on the top. I love Last it. Last season we were on the top. You were, yeah. But besides, we it. <laughs> so besides football, uh, tell me a little bit more about like what do you enjoy? Like what do you play on when you have off time? When you're chilling on the weekends mm, yeah so before wish i was i used to go for dance classes i used to love the i used to do heels classes okay. and yeah. like you know hip hop i love hip hop so i used to take those classes and then on saturday sundays i used to go with my friends just turf it all out i love that <laughs> all my energy <laughs> and my mom is like why aren't you sleeping why aren't you resting you're just dancing and playing But Actually, three yeah. of us used to go for the same heels oh, dance okay. class yeah. and hip hop class. So awesome. It was fun. There's one time where we shot a video, yeah. so just the three of us uh -huh. dancing, and it was yeah. it was really and cool. No one knew. We no one knew. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. we're gonna yeah. be yeah. in a girl yeah. group yeah. together. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, there's been a lot of secretiveness. Like, we'd all post. In the same dance studio, individually without each other. Everyone's raising eyebrows. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People have been putting it together for a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're like, this one's story is like that, but that one's story is like that, and they're like, hmm, something's cooking. <laughs> and like, I can put a story with Zoe, but not with Zoe and Suchi. Maybe then later with Suchi <laughs> at a separate location. <laughs> so it's got to be careful. It's so difficult to keep it under wraps, also because we like hanging out with each yeah. other, yeah. even when we're not working. Yeah. yeah. So it's like. When Posting stories yeah, constantly. Yeah. Uh, Zoe, uh, mm -hmm. I've I've also been told that you're a gaming fan. Can you explain to me what Genshin Impact is? <laughs> oh my God! What is what is this? Okay. What's the phenomenon? What's, I need to clarify. Like gaming in general, uh -huh. like I'm competitive, so I love board games, uh -huh. card games, all the games. I even have like a puzzles. very puzzles. <laughs> okay, amazing. Um, but yeah, I have that competitive nature, so I would like a game night over any other night. I love that. Um, and one thing that I do uh, because a really good friend of mine plays Genshin, it's uh -huh. like this anime game. It's like a phone game. It, it's also like a proper. You can do it on the computer. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. And it's like super fun. I'm not good at it though. Everyone. Which <laughs> element do you like go with? I know there are a bunch of like yeah. air, sky, water. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we we get a bunch of characters. So we do have all the elements, but okay. I think my favorite one is the wind. The wind. Yeah, cause I flying see just seems like fun, but it takes a lot of my free time when I'm not working. Lately, we don't have much free time, so I'm very bad at the game right now. Yeah. But I do like to play stuff. I'm very competitive, and Genshin is one of them. Got you, got you. So obviously, Sim, you and Ria sisters. Um, I really want to know what it's like working with your sister. Like, how's the dynamic between the two of y'all? Uh, you guys obviously have been working together for a while. Yeah. Uh, and how do you, how have you brought that into Wish now? So I think we, I, me and Ri, like we know each other so well that, like, she is my working partner and best friend at the same time. So it's like, we, it's just very easy and very natural to me. It's on autopilot. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I create a process. Yeah. yeah. So, but when we joined the group, it was like much more fun mm -hmm. because we had more people with like similar interests and. Like we like singing along together, so it it just got better. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. And just like we we see each other every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like your sisters. Yeah. So it's like it it's a lot more fun now that we're in the group. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. Like these girls, they just became an extension of us. Yeah. Which we were to each other initially. So. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And and Ree, finally, before we wrap up, uh, I'd love to know what you, in your opinion, what do you think the future of Wish is going to look like? If you had to paint a picture for the audience at home, what do you want Wish to achieve in the next uh, couple of months or in the future? Um, I want us to have hit singles, <laughs> hit albums, <laughs> um, sold out world tours. Um, yeah, we want to travel the world. Yeah, we yeah, have a lot of bucket list places. Yeah. And 
we want to meet all our fam. <laughs> and yeah. Just dream big. Just dream yeah. big. You heard it here first. Um, I'm going to do a quick rapid fire round with all of you. Yay. If you guys are excited, just get some fun questions okay. out of the way. Oh, no. uh, you guys, again, like super quick. Okay, okay. no dilly dallying. No okay, this shit. isn't dance rehearsal. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go one by one with all of you. Okay. Uh, if Wish was a food item, what dish would best represent your music style? You can start. Ramen, cotton candy, Ooh. chilies. Chilies. Oh, sorry. Dish, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I'll go with chilies. Yeah, yeah why not? It's good. Chili? Okay, chicken chili. Chicken chili. Okay. <laughs> Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Ooh. Ooh, okay, sweet. If you see the, if you see in the video, then you'll know. Easter right? eggs. Okay. Yes. Uh, what's your go-to karaoke song when you're not performing your own hits? Breaking Free by uh, High School Musical. The break of Free. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Hurt by Christina Aguilera because I'm a sad, sad <laughs> song lover. <laughs> okay. For me, it's Alicia Keys. I love that. I love that. It's probably a Whitney Houston number. Um, I want to dance with somebody just to get everyone Hell yeah. dancing. Sweet. Uh, which pop culture icon would you love to collaborate with on a song? Ariana Grande. Ooh. Damn it. <laughs> I thought we were going in line. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I had to cut the line. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. No, no, no. You go first. Okay, Z. Z, okay. Yeah. Uh, Rihanna. Dua Lipa. Mm. Amazing. Uh, what's, what's the last the movie that made you dance in your seat? That made you dance in us. Yeah, while, while you were sitting down. The Greatest Showman. The Greatest Showman? Yeah, like musicals. The last movie. What did I see? Mm -hmm. I can, can be the one before last also. <laughs> yeah, does that, it doesn't have to be the oh, last Probably uh, the Barbie movie. Oh, the yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll I'll just can't. Oh, man. I don't know. No dilly dallying, guys. <laughs> I can't. I pass. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you had to describe your fashion style in three words, what would it be? Um, glam. Chic. She stole mine. <laughs> um, sporty. Oversized. Mm -hmm. Exhibit A. Um, cool. And fun. Summer vibes, because I love shorts. <laughs> and uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> summer tomboyish uh -huh. and uh, athletic at leisure. Uh -huh. mm. What about you? Classy, chic, and shiny. Mm. Mm. Okay, and finally, if you guys were a type of candy, what candy would you be? Mm. Lollipop. Mm. Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> Sapa. Oh, I Sapa. Oh, that's great. Oh my gosh. I would be mango bite. Mango bite, okay, well. It would be lint chocolate. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> take it back. I think it's Skittles. 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 Which kind of Skittles? Like original? The original red one. The red one? Yeah. Very flavorish. I love that. Uh, this has been Rolling Stone India with Wish. It's been a pleasure to have you guys here. If there's any one message that you'd like to give all the listeners out there, what would it be? I would say, careful what you wish, what you wish <laughs> for, but we have a lot of fun stuff coming and honestly just to get excited and we're so excited for this uh -huh. journey that we're gonna like take off on and yeah to just wait and watch and yeah get Join the ride. Yes. Join the ride. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, thank you Rolling Stone India for having us. Um, to all the listeners, we've just dropped our first single, Laziz. So go listen to it if you haven't. That's been Wish for you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amazing. That was fun. You guys are yeah. amazing. <laughs> Excellent.